everyone welcome back in this episode i'm gonna try to round up our api development so i'm gonna start off in our profile admin file i still have it running so if i refresh i still get these uh, arrays here so let's uh, finish up implementing the get profile part the update profile and delete profile functionality so let's go ahead and do public Profile, get yeah. profile, and I want to get it by name, okay? So when I go slash profile slash Bob or Anton, you know, I want to return that specific profile. I don't want to have an ugly URL and have IDs in there like slash one. Like, I don't want to see that. So for this we're gonna use something called link so profiles first or default control control dot using system dot link so we import link for this and then here p is gonna stand for profile so if we go p dot we get all the properties of the profile i'm gonna select first name equals name Okay, and this is going to return a single profile where the profile name equals uh, the profile first name equals this name. Okay, so that takes care of that. And actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, grab these lines here. I'm going to hold Alt. I'm going to move them up above uh, my add profile here, so it's going to follow the same chronological order as the API. So we get all, we get. Uh, single profile create update and delete so get all get single uh, we add profile so create a profile and we are then going to go public uh, void um, update profile so profile profile this is going to be a little bit different so first what I want to do is I want to find the profile in our profile list and I want to then overwrite it, okay? So let's go ahead and uh, grab, uh, grab the current profile equals we can use the get profile method like so and we can do profile dot and actually, I'm going to say that we cannot use this because we might be changing the name and then we won't be able to find it. So this is where we're going to utilize ID. So what we can actually do is take this, copy it here. And instead of this, say ID. And ID. So what we can do is say get profile by ID but I would rather not specify that since we're ju we just want to get profile and we're either going to pass an ID or a name and if it's an integer, it's already implicit that it's an ID. If we're passing in a name, it's already implicit that we're going to be using a name. So hopefully that will make sense. Uh, so get profile and we say name here. So if anybody goes to look at this function, they're already going to know that we're getting it by name. Okay, so now we can use ID here. So we get the profile and because we're getting it by reference, we can do get profile first name equals profile first name. Copy this a few times. Last name. Age. And let's copy this here. Cool, that should take care of that. Next on the list is public void delete profile. Okay, so I'm going to say I will suffice with an ID here. And we can call, not remove, <laughs> rather profiles uh, dot remove all. So this is what accepts a predicate. And the predicate is essentially a function which will... Um, uh, if it matches, it will then find the profile to remove. So we'll take p.id equals id. And 
that works. So let's turn this into an expression, like so. So let's go ahead and to our controller and hook it up, and we're going to be using Postman to test this. Uh, after we do so, though, so for this, I'm going to go ahead and change this to string name, and I'm going to change the variable name in my HTTP get to name as well, and I'm going to return profile admin get profile. I'm just going to pass my name in here, okay, just like so. Create profile. Uh, I am gonna change this up a little bit. I'm gonna say profile. I'm gonna pass in a profile straight away into this function. All right, and I'm gonna remove this. I'm going to add a profile here, and uh, uh, I think it's fine. I will return a profile that I have created. Otherwise, if something has gone wrong, it's gonna error. Okay, so update profile. Again, I will take this profile here, and here I will just returnable. Do we need to return anything? Let's go to I action result and return. Okay, let's go to profile admin. So what this is actually going to do? It's just going to return a two hundred without any messages or anything. All right, so just two hundred. We can pass in a message like. Uh, Profile updated, and that's what then that's what you are going to see in the body of the response. But I'll just return a 200. Okay, so update profile. Profile. Cool. Next thing I would like to do is again, let's do the same thing. So I action result and return OK. And let's do profile admin, delete profile. And we are actually going to accept an int ID here. And same as what we did with HTTP get, I want to specify the ID being passed in the parameter. Okay. So let's then pass this ID to the delete profile and close this function off. Okay. Nice. So that looks all right to me. Let's refresh this and make sure it's still running. Cool. So there it is. All right. So let me actually make a new tab and I will copy this and I will do profile slash one. So actually, let's go into profile admin. Mm, and uh, actually, I want to increment the ID. So let's make a private int ID. Get set. All right. So I want the ID to be uh, assigned automatically. And by default, I'll set it to zero. ID cannot be null. So really, it's going to be set to zero straight away. But I'll actually set it to one because I don't want my ID starting at zero. I'd rather want it to start at one. Okay. So then here, when I add a profile, I am going to take profile, take the ID, and I'm going to assign it to the ID, and I'm going to increment it. Okay, so what this does is it assigns the ID first, and then it increments it. Okay, so if I would have done plus plus before the ID, it would have incremented it first and then assigned it, right? But rather, I am going to increment it after I have assigned it. Okay. So that should take care of that. Uh, let's go back to the profile again. Let's uh, refresh this. Okay, so it's not going anywhere. It's probably returning null. That's all right. So actually, I want to handle that since it is not going to the route. It's returning null. And actually, I wasn't going to get it by ID. I'm sorry about this. <laughs> I'm going to go by Anton. Okay, but it's still returning null. So what we can do is say if it's null return no content and let's call this i action result and so let's move this here var profile equals get profile if profile is null i will return no content Else, I'll return OK with the profile 
there. Okay. Uh, I forgot the return here. So, doot. okay. Let's refresh this. Whoa. Uh, let me double check that I have no errors. I don't. Let me restart this. Just in case I had it running overnight, so good idea would be to restart it. And I don't like it that it doesn't return anything. So let's say um, no content. Let's return OK here as well, but let's say no profile found. Okay. Mm. You know what? Scratch that. I'm going to keep it at no content since I think that's that will actually be better for API behavior rather than uh, browser behavior because this is an API after all. So uh, let me bring up my trusty old uh, postman and let's go ahead and uh, let me actually, yeah, I'll start a post. That's right. So I'm no longer passing anything in the query. I'm going to be passing something in the body, right? So I'm going to show you two ways to pass things. So first of all, I'm going to start with form data. And let's see what I want to pass in my um, profile. So I'm going to press F12 to navigate to it. I have ID, first name, last name, and age. I don't really care for ID. I just want first name, last name, and age. Okay. So I'm going to create a first name here. I'm going to call it Anton. Uh, last name, uh, Bobersons. Uh, and age, let's set this to, oh, no, this is going to be text 20. Okay. So let's send it, see what happens. And we get unsupported media type. Okay, so this has to do with uh, how .NET Core is trying to bind this model to this property. Right. So let's actually do this because most of the time we're going to be sending JSON. Let's start with JSON straight away and observe the behavior here. So we're going to click on raw and do JSON. Okay. So first name. I'm going to do the same, Anton, last name, Boberson, and age, I'm going to do 20. Let's try sending this, and here we get OK. All right, so what was the difference between the first call and the second call? So by, con uh, by convention, API controller tag automatically configures um, this controller to work with JSON. All right, so that being the de facto standard for the web, JSON is pretty much everywhere. That's how we communicate everything. So when you select API controller, you're by default selecting JSON, right? But there, there are formatters that you can change to uh, accept and return uh, XML and uh, all these uh, different types uh, here, but JSON is default, and chances are you're going to be using JSON. So remember, when you select API controller by default, model binding is going to use JSON. Otherwise, if you don't have API controller to make it use JSON, you will have to add from body. But in this case, we don't. Okay, so let's save it there. Let me post this again. All right, let me refresh this and let me try to get Anton here. Okay, cool. So here you see I'm getting a single Anton object from this root. And here I get an array with Anton here. So let's add a second person. Let's add Bob and Barryson. And this guy is going to be 35 years old. Let's send. And here again, we see the result. Let's refresh. We're adding to the array and we're still getting Anton. If we swap to Bob, we are going to get Bob Barrison, right? So 
let me add another tab here and let me double check that deleting works okay so we are going to let's start with put actually so let's do this let me go here and copy this body i'm going to take this body raw json because again uh, i am going to be sending the same profile except this time i want to include the id so i'm actually going to copy this uh, format here and i'm going to send this and i'm going to change my age to 34 because i want i want people to think i'm younger right and barrison i i missed out on this so barrisons okay so let's send that and we have an okay response so let's see if anything changed okay so there we go let's see all right uh, so there we can see our changes, Barry Sons and H34. Let's go ahead and add a here and let's add a Bobby, okay? Uh, which he's going to try to imitate Bob, but you know, uh, he's up for deletion. So that's where, that's where he's going. That's his purpose, to be deleted. Not the best... Uh, outcome uh, but you know uh what has to be done has to be done so right so i'm gonna make another tab i'm gonna again point it to the same route i'm gonna select delete and here what i'm gonna do in the route i'm gonna select the id for bobby i'm gonna press three and send it so again we get a 200 result let's refresh and there we go it is removed okay so if uh, somebody sees watching this chances are uh, they're very low i know you can write tests for this but this is a beginner thing so uh, this is how beginners test right but i really think people should invest in learning tester and development but that's not for this tutorial uh in this episode i'm just want to conclude that our api works and uh, in the following ones we are going to hook up, hook up our view application to this uh, uh, .NET Core backend, essentially. This will be it for this episode. Thanks for watching. If you're enjoying this, leave a like, subscribe. If you have any questions, make sure to leave a comment. I will try to answer all your questions. And as always, see you in the next episode.